Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall was closed for the day in honour of the victims of the February 28th incident. Today, the public square, square was still full of visitors who saw a space that was in transformation. Many symbols of Chiang Kai-shek have already been removed and the government is mulling no, numerous proposals for the future of the space. This week, Premier Susan Tsang said he did not support demolishing the hall and would rather see it put to a use that's appropriate for the times. It's February 28th. Although Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall is closed for the day, tourists still flow in one after the other. Isn't it that people don't really idolize him anymore? This place preserves a part of history. In the eyes of many, Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall is more of a tourist attraction than sacred ground. But there are some who see it as a symbol of authoritarianism. Some call for its demolition, and others want it to be used for a different purpose. Recently, Premier Su Zhenchang made his views on the matter clear. When they were in power, they oppressed us. Now we are the ones in power, but we do not need to oppress them back. We must address the injustice dealt to the victims. We must compensate them for the losses. What the perpetrators did must be brought to light. But transitional justice is not a witch hunt, and it is not demolition. It's looking at the needs of today and making proper use of public buildings that were built by the blood and sweat of the people. Changes are already underway under the direction of the Ministry of Culture. This year, the building closed its doors to mark the February 28th incident. Gone are the broadcasts of the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Song, and souvenir shops no longer sell memorabilia celebrating the Memorial Hall's namesake. His name has also been removed from two art galleries inside the building. I don't think the building itself needs to be changed much. The auxiliary halls can be used for solo or group exhibitions or something like that. Some suggest bringing in art to dilute the building's authoritarian colors and achieve transitional justice. They also urge keeping the architecture intact to preserve its tourism value.